That's right, Carolyn and Stephen. We have a lot of new information to share with you tonight. But first, this is the first video ever of Rachel Gillette that anyone has ever seen. And as you mentioned, these neighbors are shedding a lot of new light on this case. We just want to ask you a few basic questions. Just a few questions that Rachel is not willing to answer. Tonight, only seven Action News cameras were rolling as she returned home. And as we tried to get the conversation going, Rachel closed the garage door on us. Rachel was Bob Beshera's mistress, and just last week she filed this personal protection order against Bob. In it, she says he's stalking her. I heard a lot of noise by the door. That's Rachel's neighbor who did not want us to show her face. This neighbor has never spoken out before. She was cited in Rachel's personal protection order last week as having seen Bob trying to break in to Rachel's flat. I heard a lot of noise by the door, by the, by the side door, and I was fearful that somebody had seen the house on television. I heard the twisting of the key and the door being pushed in real hard, and I thought for sure somebody was breaking in, so I dialed the Gross Point police. Did you see the face of the person? <laughs> yes, I did. Who was it? It did look like Bob Bashera. While Rachel says she fears for her life in this PPO, her neighbors just want this ordeal behind them. They want Rachel to speak with the press. She needs to come in front of the camera and meet with everyone. Bob remains a person of interest in Jane Beshera's murder. As for Rachel, she has not been accused of anything, but has lawyered up, concerned she may have to testify if there is a trial. And right now, there is only one person in custody in connection with Jane Beshera's murder. That's Bob Beshera's handyman, Joseph Gentz. Of course, we'll keep you posted on any new developments. Reporting live in Gross Point Park, I'm Tom Waits, 7 Action News. Tom, did she seem startled when she saw you approach her? Uh, yeah, she was very startled, but it's almost like she was kind of expecting it. I mean, everybody has been trying to talk to her. Everyone's been trying to get video of her up until now. Only pictures, still pictures of her exist. That is until now, only our seven cameras were rolling. And uh, as you saw there, she didn't want to answer any questions. She hung out in the garage for a while. We, of course, backed off once she said she didn't want to talk.